Hey you guys, so I'm super excited because I got another Battle of the Boxes. This is gonna be BoxyCharm and Glossy Box. I really love doing these boxes because I like to see how they compare. I did just do the Ipsy and Birch box, so check that out if you're interested. So they have the $10 bags and boxes, and then this is $21, $22. So which one is gonna be better? I'm really not sure, I honestly, I don't remember. All right, I'm gonna do Glossy Box first this time. So. We have the regular glossy box on the inside. I love that they have this nice little outer box in there. All right, so here's glossy box. All right, let's open it up and see what we got inside. I love these blush pink boxes. And the inside, mind you, hello. All right, so we have it very nicely wrapped up as usual with the little ribbon and the card here, which I'm not gonna look at the card just yet. I'll look at it as I need to. Um, let's rip open this here. So, oh, it looks nice this month. Oh, I forgot about that. The Melted from Too Faced. Okay, that's the first thing I'm gonna pull out. So, great box. Okay, this one is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and this one is in Chihuahua. That's weird. Why do they give it like a Chihuahua name? It has like a little candy scent kind of. So that's beautiful, isn't that pretty? I really like that, mm, and it's super creamy. Let's see how it goes. I'm glad I put this on first so I can kind of test it out towards the end of the video. All right, so this is a five ml container. Okay, so this is definitely not the full size. This is like a really nice deluxe sample size. The full size is $21, so I'm not exactly sure how much this one is, but it's a beautiful shade. I don't mind getting smaller things of lipstick because I'd never go through a lipstick. The next thing is from EB5. I've gotten something from EB5 in the past and um, I think it was like a sunscreen or something like that. Okay, so this is an intense moisture anti-aging cream. Um, so moisturizer for your face. Oh my gosh, you can see that this stuff is super thick and super, super creamy. So a full size of this is um, $20 for a 1.7 fluid ounce, and this one is a 0.5 fluid mm. ounce, so it's like a third of the cost. Okay, next we have I Love Mango and Papaya. It's This is a super soft hand lotion. So, oh, that seems like it's gonna be really interesting. Oh, wow, it comes out really easily. Oh, yeah. It's very fruity scented. I don't know if I would call that mango or maybe papaya, maybe more papaya scented. Um, it smells really nice and it's not too thick. It kind of, um, not watery, but it's it's very slick and it, um, it's not oily. So I like that, that's nice. Mm -hmm. This is a 2.5 fluid ounce and this is $6. All right, next we have from Ico. This is, that's where I draw the line. So I'm guessing this is an eyeliner. Yes, I do liquid liner. Um, so that's really nice. So this eyeliner is super duper black and you, I barely even touched my skin. It came off really, really nice and opaque and it doesn't wipe away. So that's really nice. Um, for a 0.07 fluid ounce is $20. And this one here is a 0.04 ounce so it's just shy what is it like maybe $15 I'm guessing I don't know I haven't done the math so okay lastly is this um, large angled brush from Luxie and this I think this is like the third brush that I've gotten from Luxie um, I like this one this one feels really really nice and so far I'm loving this box good job glossy box all right so this is a great box I love the lotion, the face cream. I really like that. It felt really thick and creamy. I like that, especially for nighttime. I like a really thick cream for my face. The brush, love it. The eyeliner, super black, super fine, and it doesn't smudge. And the long lasting lipstick from Too Faced. Um, this one is in Chihuahua, and I really like that. That's a really pretty color. So I can tell it's not gonna be transfer proof, but long wearing, I'm okay with that. So great box from Glossy Box. So nice job to Glossy Box. All right, so moving on to BoxyCharm. I don't remember what the hot item is this month in BoxyCharm, but let's see. Oh, I love the card. It says sweet treats. 
Oh my gosh, there's a Luxie brush in this box too. That's funny, right? Yep. So I'm going to pull that one out first. So this one is the small contouring brush. So it just looks like that. That's so funny. So I almost have like my whole collection of Luxie brushes so far. Kidding, kidding, totally kidding. So I, I just love the, the design of the Luxie brush, um, the rose gold with the pink, and then the pink um, metallic print on them and the two-tone bristles, I just love them. And they're made very well. They're, they don't loosen up like the ferrule doesn't loosen up from the handle. I really like them. Oh yes, now I remember. Makeup Geek, that was the hot item of the month. So we have a duochrome and then we have a, a matte. So I did see that somebody had gotten, I think that they said that they've gotten four shadows in there or maybe they got two mattes. I forget what it was, but you're supposed to get like a duochrome and a matte shade supposedly. So and I believe that these shadows are like either five or six dollars from Makeup Geek, something like that. Um, this one is in Coco Bear, which is awesome because I've heard so many things about this. And then this is called Black Light. So let me show you what they look like. All right, so of course Coco Bear I love because that is like my kind of shade. And then the other one in Black Light, not for me. It's cool looking. It's got a, it's like kind of pink and purple and opalescent and silvery. It's like all these different shades in there, but it's definitely not for me. All right, so next we have from Catherine Malandrino. I did get a scent um, in one of my boxes last month. I think it was in probably in, in Verge Box or something like that, and I didn't really like it. I don't know what this is. It says Style de Paris CM. Hmm, what is this? Do not spray in the eyes. Okay, I won't. It doesn't say what it is. It is, but... Oh, it's a perfume. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, really nice. Style de Paris. Okay, I guess I have my scent on for the day. I can't put another scent on, so I might as well load it up. Okay, so that's actually a really nice scent. I like that. Next we have from Chella. Um, and this one is, I believe it's for the brows. I've had this before and I've really loved it. Yes, it's in the color taupe. Um, unfortunately, you can see straight through the packaging and I can see that it's just a little tiny bit in here. Um, how come I don't have a card from BoxyCharm telling me what everything is? I swear BoxyCharm normally puts their stuff in the box. Yes, they normally have a card that tells you the prices of everything. Um, the Cella Eyebrow uh, Pencil. It literally starts right here. So it's like from here to here, and that's it. Um, I've had them before, I don't know. I'm assuming that it's full size because BoxyCharm is always full size, but this is a 0.09 grams, which is kind of very chintzy and very small, but whatever. And it doesn't last very long because when I had it before, I think this is, I wanna say 16 plus dollars just for this eyebrow pencil, and it's gone quick really really quick but it's really good and it has like a super fine i'm not going to open it because i'm going to have a hard time opening it all right last thing in the box is from ofra this is a body illuminator hmm. okay i'm gonna get my um tan on a little bit oh it's Okay, this is weird. Look what it's doing. So I rubbed it in, and then I started rubbing it more and more. Look what it's doing. What is that? What is that? I don't know what, look, the more you rub, the more that it, it does, what is that? I was gonna say, oh, that's really cool. It gives a really nice glow to your skin. But then I started rubbing it in more and more, and then it started bunching up. What is that? That's so crazy. Cause like it had a, like a little glow on my finger. So I was just trying to rub it in a little bit more. And I'm like, did it take the hair off of my arms or something? And is that what that was? But no, I still have hair on my arms. I just wiped it off. Um, that was the strangest thing. I'm gonna do it again on the other arm.
Okay, so I have to like rub it in and then just leave it. So it does give a really pretty glow. Like if you see my hands, like my hands have like all this shimmer all over it. Okay, I gave it a second to dry before I kept rubbing it in because I think that's what I did before is that I put it on and I kept rubbing it and rubbing it and it started bunching up. But this time it's dry and it's fine. That was just strangest thing. What, what was that? I don't even know. All right, so this is BoxyCharm this month. Um, I think BoxyCharm was just kind of meh. I mean, it's good. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. But it's not as good. Glossy Box this month, Glossy Box kicked butt. All right, so we have Deluxie Brush, which I'm assuming is the same price as the one in the Glossy Box, which was what, $16, I think? And then we have the two Makeup Geek Shadows. One I'll use, the Cocoa Bear. The other one is not my cup of tea. Um, then we have the Chella Eyebrow Pencil, which is awesome. I've used it. I've had, I've had a couple of these in the past and I love them. This perfume, which I can still smell, it's very, very nice. And then the Body Illuminator, Illuminizer, Illuminizer. Don't know how much that costs, but anyway. So the box is a very nice box, but I would have to say that Glossy Box is better. So do you guys agree? Do you think that Glossy Box is better or do you think BoxyCharm is better? Um, I don't know. I think the glossy box was better just because um, I like the liner, I like the lippy, the creams I really like, and the brush I like. And over here, um, I don't know, I, I like, I also like everything now that I'm thinking of it. It's kind of very comparable. I don't know. I think just because I said that I didn't like this purple shadow, but honestly, I guess looking at them side by side, they're very comparable. So it's a really um, toss up. I don't know. I kind of like this brush here. I think this is good to put like powder underneath the eyes and stuff. I think that's great. I'm not a fan of too many angle brushes. Angle brushes get me a little bit aggravated because I'm like, what do I do with those? I tend to want to only use them for this purpose right here. Like they seem kind of weird to have to put blushes on. Um, I don't know. What do you think? All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. What is your verdict? I'm, st I'm kind of like, uh, I'm not sure. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video.